Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll talk about Tuesday, the 23rd of uh, April. Today the moon is in uh, Libra till 6.30 p.m. Beirut time. That's uh, 3.20 p.m. Universal time. After that, the moon moves to Scorpio. This means that if you're watching me from the Americas, the moon will be in Scorpio since early morning or in the um, before noon so um, how's it going to be for all signs knowing that the air signs the water signs should have a very nice day let's break down this day Aries, the moon in Libra, maybe can form some uh, tension, can bring some tension around. Maybe you felt the same uh, thing on Monday. Uh, maybe it was a tense Monday. So you can say plus or minus Tuesday can be a little bit tense or maybe you just uh, got over some issues and you're uh, a little bit uh, more flexible today. In all cases, uh, uh, Tuesday should end up on a better note, meaning that with the moon in Scorpio, you should have a nice day, maybe busy, but it will be quite fine. With Venus in your sign, definitely you have good uh, um, good moments, beautiful moments of good luck if you were born between the 11th and the 13th of April. Taurus, uh, try to uh, uh, be as flexible as possible. With the moon in Scorpio, things may not be that easy, or maybe they are easy, but you complicate them and complicate some issues, and you may uh, feel a little bit um, tense or worried or a little bit uh, kind of uh, annoyed. Try to be f as flexible as possible. A full moon is coming around uh, midnight. Uh, Tuesday midnight, Tuesday Wednesday. So try to take things easily and as smoothly as possible and stay away from trouble, especially if you were born uh, in the uh, month, in, if you were born on the 13th or 14th of May, although planet Jupiter definitely should help you out. Gemini, uh, it is a fine day. There are some points that need to be discussed. Maybe you're not sure of. Try to be as uh, precise as possible, as careful as possible. You don't want mistakes to happen. The um, moon in Scorpio uh, can bring some work, some more activities, more tasks, more responsibilities. The sun is not helping. So try not to put yourself in a weak situation. Cancer, everything should turn out to be quite fine. The moon in Scorpio is uh, very helpful, is quite uh, uh, inspiring and very rewarding. Uh, there's a trine between your sign, between the moon and between uh, Saturn and Neptune, which are in, in, in Pisces. This should make it um, uh, all in all a beautiful, happy Tuesday. So whatever happens, uh, trust yourself, keep going and don't give up. Leo, the moon in Scorpio may change everything upside down. So um, knowing that you have been doing your job perfectly well, but then the the moon in, in Scorpio uh, may actually trigger some issues, maybe some reactions. Maybe you will not feel that uh, at ease as uh, before. So in all cases, uh, the the general atmosphere is quite tense because of the um, uh, full moon coming up in Scorpio. And you may be affected like your mood, maybe your feelings, your emotions may not be as stable as um, in the morning or as in, in uh, on Monday. So in all cases, try to take a deep breath, relax, and try to live uh, or spend an easygoing Tuesday. Moving to Virgo, I like this day actually, whether the moon is in Libra or in Scorpio, everything is beautiful for Virgos. This should be a beautiful day. Things will turn out to be quite fine. And I think you can enjoy a very, very happy, very active and productive, efficient day. Everything should be perfect. And you may feel the effects, the bubbly effects of the coming or the upcoming full moon in Scorpio, maybe with some news, maybe with some new activities. You can be quite lucky today, especially if you were born um, in the month of, 
August or if you were born on the 15th, 16th or even 17th of September. Moving to Libra, Libra, this should be a beautiful day. It's another nice day. Maybe Tuesday, maybe Monday was nice. Today is another beautiful day, meaning you have another chance to make things right. It can be small thing, small issue, something that will help you feel okay. So there are some nice moments today, Tuesday, and definitely you have an opportunity to uh, put something away, move something away that has been kind of cluttering your life or your routine or something. So there's a new start. Be happy. And definitely the effects of planet Venus will help you if you were born on the 11th, 12th, 13th of, uh, uh, of October. Scorpio, as soon as the moon reaches your sign, uh, you will feel a big difference, positive difference. Before that, everything was a little bit troublesome or annoying or maybe made you feel grumpy or maybe a little bit uh, down. So with the moon reaching your sign, everything changes to your favor, a big smile, a big, um, a great amount a huge amount of uh, of energy uh, will push you or will um, invite you to start doing things, uh, moving on, catching up with your work, making some phone calls, commuting and um, inventing or creating new activities. This should be a very productive day, knowing that around uh, midnight, uh, a, a full moon will be in your sign and this takes place once every year so something big is coming something uh, new uh, maybe you've been waiting for it or maybe it will be a surprise something is happening like uh, till uh, till friday morning so there you are be ready Sagittarius, uh, the moon in Scorpio is not very helpful. Things may start to maybe will be on hold. Things will not move fast. And I think you may feel a little bit uh, tired. You just want to relax and enjoy a quiet Tuesday, which is fine. This will actually, this mood will extend uh, till Thursday evening. So make plans accordingly. Plan B is necessary. The full moon in Scorpio may actually um push you to relax stay away from um, people loud noises you know busy situations and double check please on your belongings on your bookings and everything Capricorn, I love this day, whether the moon is in Libra or in Scorpio, this should be a beautiful, uh, this should be a beautiful day. Things will uh, actually be great. You will be happy. You will find yourself actually uh, happy with whatever is going on. Uh, maybe I think uh, Capricorns will uh, enjoy some moments with their friends, maybe a gathering with family, meeting, enjoying some nice moments. So Capricorn, I think you will have a beautiful day. No matter where you are, no matter how old you are, this should be end up being a beautiful day. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the luckiest, uh, although all of you are lucky today, specifically those born between the 12th and the 14th of January. Aquarius, um, today can end up being a, an exhausting day, demanding day, the effects of the moon in Scorpio and an upcoming full moon in Scorpio around midnight uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it can be an exhausting day. Try to relax, catch up with your work as early as possible, wrap things up as early as possible, and try to have a, a smooth, uh, routine, easy kind of afternoon and evening. This is my advice, astrological advice to you, especially if you were born on the 22nd, 23rd of January. Moving to Pisces, it should be a beautiful, happy Tuesday. It is a wonderful day, happy day, uh, very um, active, very efficient, very rewarding, beautiful moments. You can enjoy this beautiful day. The full moon in Scorpio may actually bring you some 
a beautiful news, some good news, something new is happening, and I think you can enjoy um, uh, a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, definitely, you can work on something a little bit difficult. You have hope, you are optimistic, and the moon will actually, the stars will make things happen today to your favor. Let's wrap it up with one on the 22nd, 23rd of uh, April. Um, this should be a very inviting, uh, happy year, very rewarding, busy though, with many projects going on at the same time. But I think you can handle this beautiful year. Just plan ahead, make things that make sure that everything works as perfectly as possible. Um, knowing that you had some great energy, amount of good luck. Uh, when Jupiter visited your sign some uh, few months ago. So something new is happening in your life, big changes. Maybe you want to introduce a big different change to your path, academical, professional, or even your social life. So basically, this is a very creative and very different a uh, year than the past three or even four, five, six years. So basically this is it. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.